This is a short video on doing freeze contact between components. Sometimes you can do freeze contact if you want a simple connection. If the materials are the same, you can do a Boolean connection between the two, and I might do a video on that. Right now I have these two components. Uh, we have a block and we have a little rod or cylinder here. I've set up some boundary conditions where I've got a SPC on one end and I have an arbitrary force on the rod. I've already set up a load step to run those. I've got a material set up. It happens to be steel for both of them and a property down as P solid here. So if I expect these things to be joined and I have a force on it and I run it, I will probably be surprised. So we'll quickly run this and show you what we mean here. Okay, we can see here that one of the components has gone to the other side of the moon. So that means that even without looking at the results, we know there's a problem here. So what we're going to do is set up a freeze contact between these two components. So let me go first work on, I uh, will work on the block. So what I want to do is create down here is a contact surface. So I give it a name and I'll call it block freeze or block, there we go, block freeze. And I can choose a color over here. Uh, orange is good enough. Now I've picked the elements. So I'm going to pick the elements on this top surface here. So I pick elements and I can pick them one at a time and pick all of them. Or what works better is let's use this function. We tried by face, but it doesn't really work with 3D elements. So we're going to do on the plane. So I've got three nodes here that I'm going to choose to define in a counterclockwise direction to establish the plane of the vector and the fourth one will just establish where on the plane it is so now I can select all my entities I still have to go over here and pick my nodes so easiest way I'll pick one node and then we'll get the rest on the face so if I go over here and hit create I have a new contact surface created over here in my browser and I have one in here called block freeze we can see here in the orange. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on the rod. So we're going to isolate the rod on here and I'm just going to go in here, right click and hide the block freeze. I keep an outline of the block, the block shown here so I can make sure I'm click on the right surface. So again, the same thing. I'm going to make a new one here. I'm going to call it Rod Freeze. Okay, make sure the card image is set to surface. I've got solid face over here. And again, I'm going to go over here and pick the elements. I can pick one at a time. Or we'll do the same little trick on the plane counterclockwise direction to establish the normal to it and then one more to establish where the plane is located so I can select them and we can see here I have all those bottom elements selected I'll choose nodes pick one back down here nodes by face so now they're all collected here let's give it a little different color I'll give it a blue and hit create. So now I have the contact elements created on the rod. I can go back to my block and show them and unhide them. Turn the block back on. So now I have the same situation all set up. Hit return. The last thing we need to do before we run this is go over here and we will create a contact. It creates a new group. You can rename it if you want. Has the card image of contact and type we want to change from slide to freeze. We can pick a slave and a master ID and we'll choose 
choose the rod for one and we'll choose block for the other. Okay, now we're ready to run it. And here we go. So now what we see is we have values that are a little bit more normal. So if we take a look at the results, there's our block and the rod. So we will do the contours on them and apply. Now we see we've got something that looks a little bit more normal. And so with the speed down, do a little animation and everything looks pretty good. This freeze contact is what's going on behind the scenes in the Inspire software when connections are made automatically. But this is a quick way to do connections in Hyperworks when you have an assembly or a couple pieces together. Works well, especially when you have different components.